One of the things you should know about me is that you should never, ever leave me in the vicinity of a cool record shop unescorted because I'm going to lose my mind and I'm just going to shop and shop and shop until my credit card says no more. Well, I was in Nashville recently with the Cage the Elephant guys. More on that a little bit later. You'll see, hear more about that. But when in Nashville, uh, I found myself downtown, not too far away from the headquarters of Third Man Records, which is Jack White's place. It's a little place on uh, an industrial street next to a Mercedes-Benz auto shop, and um, you would never know it was there unless you were looking for it. But I do know, did know that it was there on uh, 6th Street, and uh, I, I, went, I went shopping. It was there, in fact, as soon as it opened on, on the day I was there. And uh, $380 later, I, um, well, I'm here to report to you. So let me show you what, it's a cool store. You can look on the blog above here and see some pictures but here's what I actually bought. Um, this is a 45 case. Remember that the um, motto for Third Man Records is Third Man Records is your turntable's not broken. So it's all about vinyl. Not entirely about vinyl, but pretty much mostly. So I bought myself a 45 RPM case. You can see the Third Man logo there. It's kind of cool. And uh, I also needed it to uh, bring the vinyl that I bought brought back. Okay, that doesn't belong. That's something else. So here's what I got. Um, it's all arranged very, very neatly. This is a band called the Black Bells. They're uh, kind of gothic-y, horror y just sort of cool. More like the Dead Weather, really, at least on this particular song. I uh, like them a lot. I don't even know if this is colored vinyl. Just open it up. No, this is just standard. But you can see the packaging here on this stuff. It's just, it's just absolutely, it's beautiful. So those are the Black Bells. I haven't even played these yet. I'm going to have to turn them into MP3 so we can use them. Um, what else? Oh, Carl Sagan. You may have seen this online. Um, it's a, a, a weird spoken word auto-tune thing featuring the late astronomer Carl Sagan um, that's done to, to, to video. And here's the actual, the actual record for it, which Jack White decided that he wanted to release on Third Man. Uh, Wanda Jackson. Now, Wanda was known as the female Elvis Presley. She was a big rockabilly rock and roll star in the 50s and, uh, and 60s. And uh, just like Jack did with Loretta Lynn, uh, Jack has produced this new record for, for Wanda. And uh, it's for sale in the, in the Third Man store. I've been looking for this for a while. This is called Mildred and the Mice very weird record by a very weird looking woman. It is a two track seven inch single. Uh, side one is called I Like My Mice Dead and side two is Spider Bite. And there is a real mystery as to the identity of Mildred. You can see her mice on the back. They're all uh, guys wearing mouse heads. But uh, this is Karen Elson, Jack, Jack's wife, his hot red headed model wife who has got an album of her own right now, which is actually very good. But anyway, that's the Mildred and the Mice record. And one more. The White Stripes are Conan O'Brien's favorite, favorite band. And they decided that uh, when they had an opportunity, uh, Jack and, and Conan would work together. And uh, side A is a song called And They Call Me Mad, and, which Conan wrote, by the way. And side B is an interview done of Conan by Jack White. So I thought that was pretty cool. OK, another thing. You may not know that the raconteurs are not known as the raconteurs in Australia. And that's because there was already a band called the raconteurs. Uh, they wouldn't give up their name. So Jack and the rest of the band had to come up with a new name so they could tour Australia. So for that one country, they are known as the saboteurs. And they were selling this Australian import. Um, again, this is the raconteurs, but it's actually, they have, have to call themselves, identify themselves as the saboteurs. Got a t-shirt. There you go. Very high quality stuff with the uh, logo on the front. And, okay, I had a moment of weakness. Jack White Third Man headphones. I tried these on in the store, and they are absolutely stunning. They, they look old-fashioned, they look really clunky, but they're made by a company called Nixon, and uh, they fit over your head like this, nice and tight, and 
students. You use it for your iPhone or iPod or whatever, or in your stereo. But they and they have a, a volume control right on the side here. It is uh, these things are stunning. So that was the most expensive thing I bought. Well, they come in a nice case. So uh, there you go. That's uh, three hundred and eighty dollars. Me unescorted. Third Man Records, and I would have spent a whole lot more, but the problem was a lot of the stuff that I wanted was not for sale because they do such a good job selling stuff online that a lot of the really cool stuff disappears in two hours. So if you're not there at the store when the stuff actually goes on sale, you're screwed. But if you're ever in Nashville uh, and you have a, a credit card with some space, I highly recommend a visit to Third Man Records and see if there's anybody playing there that night. In the back, there's a rehearsal studio, a recording studio, a photography studio, a dark room, and a place a performance space where uh, there was a comedian there the night I was there, but I was with the Cage the Elephant guys. Again, more on that later. But they have something that happens every night. So, not every night, but uh, every month something goes on there. So there you go. Um, please don't tell my wife I spent all this money because, uh, well, her Christmas presents will be just a little smaller this year. I'm sure she'll understand. Explore Music wears English Laundry Apparel.